He is known for being a German physiologist and medical doctor. He is recognized for being the sole recipient of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1931. His name is Otto Heinrich Warburg. In the world of science, there are certain individuals who leave an indelible mark on their field. Otto Heinrich Warburg, a German physiologist and medical doctor, was one such person. Born on October 8, 1883, Warburg came from a family of scientists, with his father being the renowned physicist Emil Warburg. It was clear from an early age that Otto had inherited his family's brilliance and passion for discovery. Warburg's journey in the scientific realm was nothing short of extraordinary. During the First World War, he served as an officer in the elite Ulan and displayed remarkable bravery, earning him the prestigious Iron Cross. But it was his contributions to the field of medicine that truly set him apart. In 1931, Warburg was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, making him the sole recipient that year. This recognition was a testament to his groundbreaking work in understanding cellular respiration and metabolism. His research focused on the role of oxygen and the process of fermentation in cells, unveiling the significance of these mechanisms in the development of cancer. Warburg's discoveries revolutionized our understanding of cancer and its metabolic processes. His work laid the foundation for further research in the field, leading to advancements in cancer treatment and prevention. Today, his legacy lives on as scientists continue to build upon his groundbreaking findings. In Berlin de Lem, Warburg, a renowned scientist, conducted groundbreaking research at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Biology. His focus was on studying the oxygen consumption in sea urchin eggs after fertilization. Through meticulous experiments, he made a remarkable discovery, the rate of respiration in these eggs increased up to sixfold upon fertilization. This finding shed light on the crucial role of oxygen in the early stages of development. Warburg's expertise led him to become the director of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Cell Physiology in 1931. It was here that he delved deeper into the metabolism of tumors and cellular respiration, particularly in cancer cells. His relentless pursuit of knowledge paid off when, in 1931, he was awarded the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physiology for his groundbreaking work on the nature and mode of action of the respiratory enzyme. One of Warburg's significant findings was that animal tumors produce large amounts of lactic acid. This discovery revolutionized our understanding of cancer metabolism and opened up new avenues for research. The impact of his work was undeniable, as evidenced by the 46 nominations he received for the Nobel Prize over a span of nine years. Finally, in 1931, his remarkable contributions were recognized, and he was bestowed with the highly coveted honor. During his time at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute, Warburg mentored young scientists, including the future Nobel laureate George Wald. Wald, under Warburg's guidance, made his own groundbreaking discovery, the identification of vitamin A in the retina. This breakthrough not only expanded our understanding of vision but also showcased the profound influence that Warburg had on shaping the scientific community. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.